Hey there, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to be taking part in the Multi Photo Monday um, YouTube Hop. And this is the inspiration piece that was chosen by Miranda. Multi Photo Monday is a series that is run by Becky and Miranda. And if you follow the links below to the next person and then you make your way back to me, you'll get to see everybody that's in this little hop. So I am using my December hip kit. Um, when I saw the inspiration piece, I knew that this kit was perfect because the colours are quite soft and pretty. If you, um, well, you know how it works with a kit. There's a lot of different papers, a lot of collections, the bits and pieces go together. But you can definitely take, say, a few colours from the kit and make it work in a kind of monochromatic way. And so I was really inspired by the colours and the inspiration piece and softness, and I'll explain that more when I get to it. So I had this piece of that holy spot paper left over, and I've just ripped down the edges a bit more, and yes, that is a syringe for giving children medicine. Um, when I use... Um, when I use these Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals, I only want a little bit of water. Even if I mix them up in my cup, which I've got there, I only want a little bit of water. And the syringe is a good way of getting a little bit of water. Now, ideally, I would use a spritz bottle and spritz onto this paper, but my kids have taken the bottle and used it for their toy babies or something. I can't find the bottle. So anyway, this background paper is embossed. It's a speciality paper by Heidi Swap and it's got really nice sentiments on it and I'd been um, I guess keeping it for the perfect layout and I thought that this one would be the perfect layout. Sorry if you can hear the glasses going into a well, smashing glass or sound of bottles I think our neighbours are putting their glasses into their recycling bins so that's what that noise is. So the magicals are made to be activated with water. These ones um, I can't remember the exact name, but there's like a blue undertone to it as well. So I just um, added quite a lot of water. Okay, neighbours have been on a fishing trip. Obviously, I've been drinking a few beers. It's summer here in New Zealand, so that's what the noise is, is them getting their bottles off their boat. So now I've put that next to the window. It was a really hot day when I made this. I put it near to dry, um, and I've got this tissue paper that would have had something wrapped in it and I keep tissue paper it doesn't matter what state it's in I kind of don't want it perfect anyway I want it more ruffled and so my idea is to create some ruffles with the tissue paper I did think about sewing it I did think about gluing it but I needed to get this done quickly because my husband was away for work so I had all my kids around as I made this so I'm going to use my stapler so I'm just folding it I've got two layers of tissue paper um, is it acid free? No. Does it bother me? No. Um, I love the texture that it adds. Um, I think by the time the acid becomes a problem, it will probably be the least of my concerns anyway, if I'm even still here. So, yeah, just folding, sort of ruching and stapling. If I sound like I'm slurring, I've got, I think, an ulcer in my mouth that's kind of bothering me at the moment, so that is why. Um, yeah. And then my idea is to lay that over the top and have the tissue paper peeking out from above. Then I've realised that I've put my staples um, not far down enough, so that's fine. I can just turn it over and use the other side. So I'm just using a normal like office supply stapler. I do have the American Crafts mini staple, but I'd rather save those staples for when you can actually see them and you're adding them as an embellishment or a feature. So I've just adhered that with double-sided tape and I, I don't want this to be perfect but I'm just trimming off the bits that are a bit, um, I guess, too high up. And then I noticed that there are a couple of pieces where I haven't added enough um, tissue paper or it's more that when I've ruched it, it hasn't reached the full 12 by 12 so I'm just making a couple more and just gluing them down with that double-sided tape again so it's just at the ends um, I could have left it but I quite like the way it looks so gluing that down or sticking that down and yeah I think um, I think that it's looking really cute so then I'm going to put some double-sided tape down um, 
I thought I added some to the top. So these are a couple of photos from winter. It would have been around August um, here in the Southern Hemisphere. Obviously we have a different winter, different summer to you if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So these um, were photos of my 10 year old daughter Azaria and we both had a season's pass. Sam had injured himself, he's our nearly 13 year old son. And so he couldn't come skiing this season, which was quite hard for him to have to handle. But that's life. Um, and so Azaria and I went up as much as we could, often on a Saturday afternoon, to get our money's worth of our season's pass. And so to get to the ski field from where we live, um, this particular ski field would have taken about probably half an hour. We can almost see it from our house. And um, we just had a really lovely time up there. So now I'm fussy cutting these stars off the other speciality paper. I think it's from Crate Paper Snowflake Collection. And I just went for the either the gold or the pink toned stars and snowflakes. I think most of them are stars, but that um, more rounded edge one looks like a snowflake to me. I'm just having a sip of my coffee. And so there, I haven't cut them all on camera because you um, don't need to see that. And then to the left, I've got some embellishments that I think work well with this layout, with that mood board and the sort of peachy pinky tones. I've got a label, no, a tag. Um, sorry, that's one of my kids has come to have a look at. I've gotten some supplies out of a box that I've put aside and um, to sell or give away. And so I've brought them over to me. Grabbing things again. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've got some vellum stars that I think are exclusive to the kit and a few die cuts that are also exclusive to the kit and by exclusive to the kit I mean that HipKit has um, designed them and put them into the kit. So I'm sorry my ring light is creating some um, bright, I don't know what you call that, brightness there on my photos ref reflecting off. So um, I knew obviously it's multi photo Monday. Um, I often scrap multi photo layouts because if I have more than one photo to tell the story, I want to get both or more on there. Um, doing a grid is a good way to scrap more than two photos, but when I scrap two photos, I quite like doing it in the way that I'm doing it on this layout. So I've got this piece of pretty little studio paper. I get the paper add on kit and I'd already used uh, this paper on its own as a background. So here I'm just. Um, using it for photo mats and just placing it more with the peachy tones as well rather than the blue. I did think about adding another layer with that beautiful um, plaid but I've decided to just go with one um, photo layer. So my intention with this layout was just to have a lot of like stars or snowflakes just to represent the fact that we're at the snow. Um, these photos I took at the top of um, Coronet Express chairlift. So we get off the chairlift and then, um, yeah, it's a kind of like a plateau area, and then you go into the run. So I just took the photos of her. Um, at one point, she did tell me I needed to put my camera away. I was taking all my phone. I was taking too many photos, but you know what it's like when you're a mum, you want to, and, and a scrapbooking mum, you want to record as much as possible. So I think on this, maybe. It may have even been night skiing, so we'd go up in the afternoon and then um, the sun would set and they turn the lights on and you you can ski till 9pm at night. It's really lovely. So um, you actually find that you go a bit faster in the night because you are not as, I don't know, your inhibitions are gone, it's a lot faster, everyone's going a lot faster and you just kind of just keep up. So here I'm just... Um, Distressing my edges as always with my little close to my heart distress tool. I love using that. And as always, I can't leave a tag without some twine. And because this close to my heart twine, or maybe it's stamping up, it's quite thin, so I'm just um, doubling it up. So I've got four threads coming out the top. Having more coffee. Um, yeah, so now I have heated up my glue gun and um, it's quite an old glue gun, it takes a while to heat up, so I'll just keep checking it there, and I've just balanced it over that packaging so it doesn't um, drip onto my desk. If you're wondering why I've got a white background, it's because um, my son and my husband decided to rearrange our lounge and the area in my office and where I scrapbook. 
I changed the furniture around and this desk that I'm working on used to have extra TV and the Xbox and stuff on it but that's all moved into the lounge and so now this is my desk and yeah I'm actually loving how it's looking filming on white background. So I had to add a few extra little things. I'm adding that snowman, I've got that leaf as well and I think you saw before I've got that little yeah the top there, a little embellishment with two trees. Even though um, here in New Zealand we don't have trees on our ski fields, um, in summer our ski fields are sort of scree slopes and there's no vegetation on them. Oh there's probably small plants but there's definitely not like you have, I've seen in Northern Hemisphere, you have a lot of trees on your runs. Well, we don't have that here. That's what I'm trying to say. But I thought I'd add them anyway. So some of these are fussy cut snowflakes from one of the crepe paper snowflake um, pattern papers as well. And I had cut out a whole 12 by 12 of them and I had a lot left over from another layout that I made. Here I'm showing you how you can use your cropper dial. If you have a little ticket die cut that you've cut apart and you want to add the little notches on the side, you can use your crocodile or hole punch for that. And finally, my hot glue gun is hot enough, so the reason I'm using this, and I've, I don't know if you've ever seen me use hot glue on my layouts, and I think I've only done it a couple of times, is because I really wanted a bit more dimension and I wanted to be able to lift up the edges of all these stars and snowflakes. And because they are sitting on piece of pattern paper at the bottom which with that tissue paper and the staples and everything it is um, quite dimensional you can't really tell looking at it now but um, I just figured that hot glue would be easier to stick everything down and I even hot glue onto the photo and onto the vellum and it worked out fine you can't even see maybe a little shadow on the vellum stars you can't really see the, the hot glue so there's a little hat which is the same color as well those sort of peaky peak peachy pinky tones or apricot tones and then um, yeah a few of these I've cut from the edge of the paper so I'm just tucking them in places where you don't need to see the entire star or snowflake. So yeah I'm just playing around now until I'm happy. Um, all of these don't make it onto the layout and that's fine. I'll use them for something else. This is a really winter themed and slightly Christmas and New Year's kit so um, normally by the time I get the kit it'll be, like I just received my February kit, January kit in February so it's always a month behind so yeah I'm nearly at the end of this kit now and I'm ready to start January because I've got it sitting there waiting. So I often scrap um, the opposite season that I'm in so we're in summer but I'm scrapping winter and it's not just because I only get the product um, you know that's the opposite product the opposite season but it's also because I'm not very current with my scrapbooking if I have a photo I really love and I really want to scrap it and say I took it yesterday I'll scrap it but mostly I'm going back and either scrapping the previous season or even photos that are older like several years now you didn't see me do the whole title because I had my three-year-old need to go to the bathroom she's been toilet trained for about a month now but when she needs to go we need to go and um, I just glued them on myself without the camera. So that's my finished layout. Um, thank you Miranda and Becky for having me. It's been really awesome. It's always great to get some multi-photo layouts done. So do make sure you follow the link below to the next person. Thank you so much for watching.